I would say that if the only way you can do some exercises from home, then that's much better than doing nothing. Even if you're just sitting in your chair, move your arms and legs and it's, you get fitter the more you do. Welcome to today's show. We are filming today in Newton Acliff and it is a beautiful day. Now, before you have your dinner, why not grab those tins of beans? Sounds a little odd, but Liz is gonna explain it all. Welcome everybody. Today we've got some exercises that are going to work our upper body. So I've got a set of dumbbells. Helen's got some cans, everyday items that you can uh, take from your kitchen. And um, Susan's going to be doing the exercise without the um, resistance to start with. So we're going to sit or stand nice and tall, chest proud. We're just going to begin with a bicep curl. So we're going to work single arms. So we've got one arm and then the other. We're keeping the elbows close to the body and just bringing that weight up to one shoulder and then up to the other side. How does that feel? Is that okay? I'm gonna pass these over to Susan now so she can have a feel what it's like with those dumbbells. Keep going, there's no need to stop. So you can use whatever weight you want to use. Should we do one more each side? How does that feel? Brilliant, well done, okay. So our next exercise is going to work our wrists. So if we can just stretch one arm out in front. So we've got that long arm, we're nice and tall again. We're just gonna drop that wrist down and then lift up. So the arm stays nice and still. These sort of exercises are gonna help us as we open doors, close doors, as we take jars, lids off. So all about opening and closing, building that strength up in the wrists. How does that feel? Okay. It's quite hard, isn't it? And then we're going to bring that into the centre and turn the wrist over. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drop that wrist down. This is quite hard. You feel it down the arm and then lift back up. So again, with or without the weights, you choose. Do a few with and then do a few without if you need. Stop when you need to stop. One more. And now we're just going to change to the other side. Do you want to have a go with your weight this time? Brilliant, okay. The other side, nice long arm. Let's just take that wrist down and lift. So it's just building up that strength. Really good if you've got arthritis in those joints as well. How does that feel, Susan, with the weight? Is that okay? Brilliant. And then we're just gonna flip that arm over again. So gently turn over. Remember, it's just that wrist we're working. Drop it down to start with and then lift back up. I can really feel that one. Excellent. Should we just do two more? Brilliant, release that down, well done. That's a difficult one, that one. So this exercise is all about upper body strength. So we're just going to take the arms down by the side. If you're standing, stand nice and tall. If you're sat, sit tall in your chair. We just lift those arms out to the side, hold them for a second there, and then gently release back down. You can practice some nice breathing here as well, breathing in through the nose, blowing it out. That's great. Are you breathing with me? Yeah? Good. Just a little hold at the top. Brilliant, then release that down. Give those arms a little shake. A great job again. I hope you enjoyed those exercises today and that you've worked up an appetite. You can crack open the tin of beans now and go over your dinner.